Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. Kiana Jane here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe. And if you are not new here but still not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. So I got back from church, maybe like, well, from church, I did have a few stops to get like last minute pickups because I order online and then pick up because I cannot do the Christmas lines in the mall so I went around really quickly to where I had to go to kind of pick a few things up and um that actually took a while there's a lot of traffic out go figure now I am dressed because I'm going out with my friend we're going to grab like some uh, christmas drinks kind of soda we're off our diet like she was on this whole no meat no alcohol thing with me so we planned like on our final day we were gonna like grab drinks and do stuff like that i just have on this top from i was gonna say house of cb oh polly to me oh polly is like house of cb jr okay um but yeah i have on this top from Oh Polly, it's actually a crop top and I feel like I'm out of my crop top era but it's so cute and I feel like the sleeves are very festive I actually added these myself because it just needed a little pizzazz my room is like literally a pigsty but I was going around trying to figure out what shoes I was going to put on for tonight and then I remembered I bought or I was able to snag these like viral Javinci shark boot dupes um, but I got mine from Zara. I know a lot of the girls are going to Macy's and I tried those on and because I'm a skinny girl it just didn't go with my calves but the Zara ones really look nice on me so I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. I bought them I think like earlier last week but I'm going to put them on tonight. It's not going to be comfortable like the heel on these are really really short. I think it's like a two and a half inch heel tall girl friendly so perfect and these are what the boots look like and i just have them on with these leather pants that i got from asos i know a lot of people nowadays are like i don't know like include wide calf include this calf bigger calf or bigger girls but us skinny girls we need to help too because we want to wear boots with like you know form-fitting clothing or shorts and sometimes our calves just be swimming in them and that's what i felt like happened with the macy's and i didn't get the wide calf version in macy's i got the regular one and my they just didn't compliment my legs but these ones from zara really compliment my legs and i feel like they look super cute with like my leather pants ah, i'm obsessed i don't know I feel like y'all don't need love. You need somebody who could micromanage you. You know what I'm saying? Tell you right from wrong. Who's smart from who's a fool? What's utensil to use for which fool? Like, I got a schedule of attention, though. I can't really. Damn. These niggas got me so twisted. I fuck you so what's up you guys so i made it back home and i need to wrap gifts like my room looks like a bomb hit it and it's because i have everyone's gift everywhere not wrapped so i picked up some stuff from 
the 99 cent store because that was literally the only place that had wrapping paper and stuff like that left i literally waited to the last minute which is nuts because normally i'm always on time when it comes to like getting people gifts and thinking sometimes a month in advance when i'm gonna get for people but this year i got a lot going on so um yeah i'm gonna take some time to wrap it now because i can't see myself waking up super early christmas morning which is tomorrow to wrap everything i would hate to do that So you guys, this is pretty much the aftermath from me wrapping gifts. It's kind of annoying me because I like things to be aesthetic and cohesive, but this year, girl, just wasn't that. And I'm literally just rolling with the punches because I'm glad that the 99 cent store even had anything left for me. So beggars can't be choosers. I got everything done. I put the little wow thing on this one, that um, heat protector that everyone's going crazy for to prevent like frizz. Um, Cause I didn't want to wrap that and it was like a travel size one. So, um, yeah, I'm tired, but tomorrow's Christmas and it's literally my favorite holiday. So I'm super excited. I'm exhausted. I am about to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. I guess you were right, Linus. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. <laughs> That move! <laughs> so you guys, it is packing day finally. Um, I'm going to bring a carry-on with me as well as like a checked luggage and my never full. I've never traveled so largely before like with all this baggage but for where i'm going and what i want to give when i'm over there i feel like the more the merrier to be honest and i'm going for like a really long time so i don't believe everything is going to be able to fit in my check bag and i'm thinking about using my carry-on luggage for like shoes and stuff like that um but i am the type of person who literally will put all of their expensive things in my never full like i'm not checking anything um that is going under the plane and it's like super expensive this i'm just a little nervous because i would love to put like my bags and stuff and my expensive shoes in here but i think i might just keep this for like my cheap shoes well not cheap but like anything from like zara and like that kind of category like mid-level but anything super expensive from like Saks or Tom Ford, that's going on my never full. This comes on the plane with me though. So that's why I'm kind of thinking like I should just put it in here. But my fear is, you know, at the last minute when the overhead bins are full and they're like, yeah, we're just going to check your bag at the gate. I'm going to be fried. So I don't know. I got to figure it out. Maybe I'll just put like my makeup in here. So quick little story time. The last time I was packing, I was going to DR. And that's when I broke my camera because I was doing like a packing, get ready with me kind of thing. And I guess I had the camera like propped up in a way that when it fell, it fell right onto the lens and literally shattered everything. And I I cried. I was so pissed. I had the Sony ZV-1. They had just came out with it. I think I paid like $800 for the camera and I broke it. I was so pissed because I wanted to, I was going away the next day and I wanted to vlog on my trip, but I didn't get the chance to. 
but in a way that was like one of the best most luxurious trips i have ever been on down to the hotel we stayed at like it was a really 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 nice trip and it may have been that nice because i just really got to like live in the moment and just really enjoy myself instead of like having to worry about like catching certain shots and stuff but um yeah i'm gonna show you this hat i got this hat it's a little gifty gift it's the Ruslan Ruslan Baginski, if that's how you pronounce it. I got this as a gift, and um, it's in like this green color, and it's like a satin finish, and I got it in a small. But yeah, I'm gonna bring that. I'll probably put that like something like that. I will put in my Neverfull. Um, but like my shoes from Mango and like ASO stuff like that, I'll probably put that in like the smaller carry on because in the event that gets checked, I'm cool with it. My nails, my Christmas nails, they look a hot mess, like a hot mess. This hand is literally like the same spiel. I have a nail appointment after my eyelash appointment the day before I leave. I took on my braids like a few days ago and I did like this quick little slick back bun and it's been in this for a while but it's gonna stay in this until i'm ready for my next hairstyle let me show you guys what that is jet black kiana is gonna be in full effect i got three bundles of 24 and this is just like straight here i'm gonna dye them blue black because i want it to look really juicy and rich and I also found like this black dye that I had like lingering around. So I'm going to put that on them and probably like dye my leave out. And then once I take this weave out, I might like dye my entire head black. Um, and then like go back to my silk presses. I also been meaning to try this out. I've been seeing it all over TikTok. It's the Wow Dream Coat. You want to know something? Shein is very good when it comes to like accessories and stuff like that. So I got like some cute like little travel items from them. These are some like shoe bags because I don't like my shoes to kind of just be thrown into a suitcase. I kind of like to travel with them in some kind of shoe bags. And a lot of times if they're not like designer heels, they don't come in a shoe bag. So I bought, I think these are like 20 or something like that, but I bought these to take with me. Since it's such a long flight, I got this foot thing from Shein and it's just to elevate your feet a little bit uh, so that, you know, your feet don't swell. And then I got this. I'm really excited about this. This is one of those things that like you blow up once you're on the plane and you put it in like your, what is that? Your, your like the table that flaps down. And you put your arms inside and you put your head down. And I feel like this is going to be more comfortable than those like neck thingies. So I'm glad I picked that up because I'm trying to be comfortable. I got myself a portable charger as well. I'm not sure if this came from Shein or Amazon. I want to say it came from Shein. But little accessories like that, I think Shein is definitely like the go-to place for it. And then this as well, it's just like a makeup case. I'm not one to have like a neat makeup bag. It's just not my vibe. But this is literally just like an open concept for your makeup. And then you kind of like draw the drawstrings. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. But yeah. So what is up you guys? It is the next day and I washed and blow dried my hair. I dyed just like, well not dyed, I rinsed just like a strip of my leave out. Um, I don't really want to leave too much hair out but I have a hair appointment today at 545 downtown and I also have a client coming to see me at 1230 at my studio. So both are downtown which is perfect. It shouldn't take me too long to get from my studio to my hair girl. And this is not the same hair girl from story time the last time i learned my lesson i'm going back to the really only girl to really give me a sewing if i don't feel like doing it myself i literally go to her and i've been to her like a handful of times and she does a good job so um yeah i'm gonna head to her at 5 45 i'm gonna try and do my toes in between that time but i don't know if i'll have time um and i also need to pick up dry cleaning so a lot to do today before i leave but i am going to figure 
I'm gonna figure it out. See? Next time I won't drop off so much, Bobo. Thank you. Baby. Thank you so much. You <laughs> See so you. Busy. Happy Bye. holidays. Thank you. <laughs>so it is officially travel day we leave tonight um it's best to get like evening flights when going to europe because um it helps with like the jet lag a bit more um but yes we leave tonight and i'm somewhat packed but i need to finalize things i just got this package in from aritzia it's one of my christmas gifts i just ordered a sweatsuit and they were having a sale so i couldn't really get like what i really want it but it's something to travel in i feel like their sweatsuits are really popular what i ordered from them is their tna sweat fleece cozy fleece midweek whatever the only thing i don't like is that it actually doesn't have like an adjustable drawstring and i got a medium because the way it was fitting the girls or the models in the small i just didn't really like um i believe i also got this in a size tall did i get it in a tall i could have sworn i got it in a tall because my legs are like really 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 long yeah this is definitely their tall and then for the actual sweater i believe i got the sweater in a small and it's their cozy mega raglan raglan um in black and this fits oversized so i got a small knowing that it'll just fit me fine but i love the way this feels they feel really cozy and i want to be comfortable on the plane so i ordered this and today shipped it so that it would get here in time and it just came today i'm kind of playing russian roulette here but i actually did not try on any of my dry cleaning my alterations that i had done i didn't try on any of them so i'm gonna try them on really quickly right now and maybe I pick it back up with you guys just before I leave the house. So that is it, you guys. I'm about to head out and catch my flight. I finished packing. We may be overweight, but I'm not claiming that negative energy. But thank you so much for watching and staying all the way until the end. I'm going to start editing this vlog while I'm on the plane. So I guess I will see you guys on the other side of the planet. Kinda. Yeah. Bye.